Candle is a small light source consisting of a wick embedded in a solid substance such as paraffin wax. With the help of heat, a candle can produce light. Parts of a candle Wick and wax are the two parts of a candle. Wick is the little part of the candle that pokes out at the top. This is the part that burns and produces a flame. Wick works by conveying the fuel to the candle. Paraffin wax is a small chemical factory that converts the hydrocarbons in wax into carbon dioxide and water. Principle Two principles are involved in explaining how a candle works. The first principle is capillary action. If you put a narrow straw into a glass of water, what can you observe in the level of water in this straw? You will see that the water has climbed up the straw and is higher than the level of water in the glass. This is called capillary action. The movement of liquid through or along the surface of another material in spite of other forces such as gravity is called capillary action. In candles, melted wax climbed up through the wick because of the capillary action. The second principle is Compassion. Compassion is a chemical reaction between substances including oxygen combined by generation of heat and light in the form of flame. Now let us learn how a candle burns. When you light a candle, wax gets melted in and near the wick. The wick absorbs the liquid wax and pulls it upward because of the capillary action. Since the wax has a lower melting point, it instantly turns into a hot liquid and funneling straight up around the wick. This heat vaporizes the liquid wax into very hot gas by combustion. When liquid wax vaporizes, the hydrocarbons present in the wax break down into carbon and hydrogen. Oxygen available around the candle is pulled in at the bottom of the wick. Carbon which is break down from the wax react with the oxygen to form carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide moves upwards and mixed with air. Hydrogen which is also break down from the wax react with oxygen to form hot water. This hot water along with the wax which are not broken into hydrogen and carbon outflow down. Heat generated by this reaction helps to continue this process till all the solid wax changing to vapor state. Both light and heat continuously evolved in this reaction. Heat from the flame travels in three directions by the processes called conduction, convection and radiation. Conduction carries heat down the wick to melt more wax at the top of the candlestick. Convection draws hot wax vapors out from the wick and sucks oxygen from the surrounding air into the base of the flame. The flame also gives off invisible beams of heat in all directions by radiations. Since the wax never burns perfectly, there is a little smoke produced. It often leaves a black carbon deposit on nearby walls or the ceiling above where the candle is burning.